Cuomoto a couple of times. And the first big league strikeout for Zach Gallon. He gets Paul DeYoung. Congratulations. It's kind of a good road map leading into this start against the Cardinals. Called strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Zach Gallon. Not a bad first inning at all. A long fly ball out, but then he rings up Goldie. Here comes from Gallon. Right back to him. Gallon flips to first and works himself out of trouble in the second. Nicely done. Uh, had a handful of people here, jury, teammates, uh, guys, people from home, family, friends, and um, like last year, per se, um, because I've, I've just been getting more swings. Luke Weaver, who saw some time in the big leagues on the mound. One and one to Colton Wong. This one out to center field. JT Riddle coming in will make the catch. You're going to get outs. That half swing gets away from Alfaro, but Abreu gives himself up. Couple of strikeouts in the first for Zach Gallant. Does not go. Takes a call and strike three. He gets the green light and skies one to center field. And Gallon gets away with it, leaving the bases loaded. Nice groove that he was in first couple of innings and a called strike three. Hey, it usually goes both ways. Might as well make the most of it. And he does. Absolutely. A couple of strikeouts in the inning. He's got five. Here's Gallon's 0-2 pitch. Got him swinging. A seven-pitch inning for Zach Gallon. Away from him tonight. Comes back with a strikeout of Moncada. And for Gallon, that's seven. We go to the seventh. Both pitchers are in control tonight. It's an 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Gallon. Make it eight. He's out of the zone. And he could not hold up there. So nine strikeouts. A new career high for Zach Gallon. Soft little liner into the glove of Brian Anderson. That's going to do it. Seven strong from Gallon. The Diamondbacks have acquired Zach Gallon, a pitcher, young pitcher who started very well in his major league uh, uh, beginnings with uh, the Marlins. Uh, and my, my, uh, I didn't know who was going the other way, but Craig Mish uh, from Miami is reporting that Jazz Chisholm, who's a very high prospect, is going from Arizona to Miami. Pitcher for the D-backs is Zach Gallon, acquired from the Marlins at the trade deadline. He has pitched very well in his first seven big league starts with Miami. There it is! Swing and a miss! Welcome to the Diamondbacks, Zach Gallon, a one, two, three first. Elevates the fastball and gets his second strikeout. It's really helped. There's a fastball for a strike. Yes, he did. Tom Hallion says, yep. They still have to finish off the strikeout with first base unoccupied. I have to ask him about that. That's blunted at Kingery at third. Here comes Nick. He's in there. Well, Ahmed had a base running mistake in the ball game last night. You'll recall he was run down between home and third, little miscommunication, but that time he stuck in, and it's 4 nothing. Segura holds on the 3-2, swing and a miss. He bit on the changeup that time, and Gallon gets his fifth strikeout. Segura still holding down there, went to the curveball. Make it six strikeouts for Zach Gallon. Rounded to first, Walker's there. Zach Gallon through five, he leads it 4 nothing. for the D-backs tonight. The rookie right-hander, Zach Gallon, his third start with the Diamondbacks since he was acquired from Miami. Overall, the number is very encouraging. Right there, ring him up and sit him down and change up. And he strikes out Blackman to start us off. Round ball here. Escobar gets one. And they turn the double play. But did not allow a base hit. They've turned the ball over to the bullpen. Here's a good example of Gallon using that changeup off the fastball. A real good pitch for him, especially against the lefty. 
There's the fastball, and Gallon gets his third strikeout. Who got it right there? Four strikeouts for Gallon, one out in the fourth. Pitch number 50 on the way from Zach Gallon. Just blew it right by Arenado. Two fastballs up. Got him. Went to the cutter. Strikeout number six. 0 oh, 2 pinch. And he took care of him real quick. Three pitches. Seven strikeout for Gallon to one out of the fifth. We're throwing a no hitter so far tonight. And that will be the end of the inning as Gallon will get his eighth strikeout. And the D back still trailing 1 0. Bottom six coming up. Gallon is starting pitcher for the D backs tonight. The curveball from Gallon gets his first strikeout. Boy, Zach Gallon looking good. He set down five in a row. A one, two, three, second inning. No score. Zach Gallon, three strikeouts, eight straight retired. Bottom third coming up. And it works out. A changeup is strike three, his fourth strikeout. And he set down nine straight. That time, you see that changeup grip, a little bit of fading action. Goes to the curveball and strikes out Renfro for the second time for that. He may have taken a little off of that curveball, too. Really rolled it up there. Bounce to second, Wilmer Flores. Six no hit innings for Zach Gallen, but we are still scoreless at Chase Field. That's the offer to the curveball. Gallon has his seven strikeout. Another good curveball from Zach Gallon over the top rotation, sneaking in that back door. Eric Cosmer just couldn't hold up that time. Yes, he went. Zach Gallon, seven scoreless. We stretch and chase. They're on their feet.